Anyways, Twitter recap for the day. A lot of good stuff. Uh, charts has been posted in the past few hours here or, the other, or this past day. Uh, on a day where gold and silver has actually done quite well. Gold making a a um, all-time daily close. That must mean something. Right? Absolutely beautiful. Silver is doing well. Miners are doing well. It's really, really good. Uh, <clears throat> but yes, we are going to see, look into the Twitter stuff here. Uh, as always, guys, you can follow me on Twitter, on, on YouTube, and on Substack uh, at Uslink INV. Um, so yeah, charts, let's go. Good. The great Martis here says, if I were able to press correctly, Dow Jones distribution schematics, how are we looking? So basically what he's trying to point out here is that currently uh, it seems like we are in this Vikov uh, distribution phase where we are you know, at the end of this UTAD phase here. And basically what is confirming is, it, is if we make a marginal higher high, we start to move down below the previous two resistance lines at that point support, but it will become resistance, then we potentially could see something <clears throat> along those lines. For now it looks pretty dead, uh, pretty dead on, but again you have to wait and see how the how the chart uh, evolves. Um, but definitely you want to watch here uh, if that's the case, if that is the case, you know the downside is pretty brutal when we see these you know selling into into volume there by the big players. Uh, trader here on, on Platinum uh, by the way, Trader here, he posts a lot of stuff uh, with a long, great, you know, <clears throat> uh, commentary. Definitely worth a follow here. Um, Platinum on the daily, which is also also something that I pointed out in my daily recap. Uh, you can see on YouTube that we are actually at a point here where it's getting pretty pointy. A two, three month triangle, which is about to resolve one way or the other. And... <clears throat> Looking at the past three, four years on Platinum, I think we are at the end stage of the correction or the bottoming phase, and this should go to the upside. <coughs> Tavi, once again here with a great chart. Uh, gold is on the verge of making new highs again. It did today. Yet retailers remain on the sidelines. For me, this indicates just how early we are in the cycle for gold. And other precious metals, again, silver, palladium, platinum, uh, and what have you. I agree. Take note of the steady relative performance of the miners in recent weeks. I agree. The miners, gold, silver miners, has broken some huge trend lines. Also, if you mesh them against their underlying metals, it's an incredible chart. You will not be disappointed. Um, again, hugely bullish on the gold miners and we will do whatever we can, especially on the sub stack, to find those those gold and silver miners uh, yet again. Uh, we are likely experiencing a meaningful shift in this industry. <clears throat> so you can see this is the gold price up here, and then, and then you have the GLD here. Just you know, it's not participating at the moment, and uh, there's a huge gap here. Usually, you can see the correlation. Uh, I do think gold is going way higher, uh, but again, minus. 23% from peak levels. That is actually a very, very big divergence. Uh, and again, the reasoning behind it could be, you know, uh, metals are leaving the the ETFs. Uh, again, I'm not that much into this. I'm pretty sure Tavi Costa is 100% on top of this, so he will probably butcher me if uh, if he sees this. <clears throat> Next one is Karim. Bulls one silver. Um, that's a big statement, and I like what uh, I like such a statement here. So this is the MACD, uh, um, also moving upwards after a three-year consolidation. So we have A here, that's 50 years ago. Then you have B, you have the big spike there in silver. This is the log scale, by the way. So going from roughly eight to to, to 50, that is beautiful. And yet again here we have this uh, MACD where this, uh, the faster moving. Stochastic there is, you know, bouncing up and then going higher. Silver looking really, really good on a quarterly, daily, weekly, monthly. It looks incredible. Uh, and ever since we broke that 26, in my opinion, that was the big, big uh, go-go level. And, uh, and yeah, we are to see all-time highs in silver. We ought to break 50. <clears throat> in my view, there's no 
no questions about it really. <coughs> this is 10 here, GGG, GGD, that is uh, Go Gold Resources, just a very, very beautiful setup. Uh, one to watch here and one to position in for the silver bowl, yeah. And uh, a repeat of the 2020 move with higher silver, underground straightforward. Uh, permit approval by end of summer will be a 50% catalyst. Again, I just want to show you very quickly, we have a trend line here coming across uh, for the past three years. You can see they're pretty beautiful. Again, the fifth time here should. Again, usually it breaks on the fourth, but again, we had a little bit of a retrace there and we are now charging again. I think the level is roughly 1.7. And then Go Go could be in for you know a mega move here. Um, beautiful parallel, a lot of good stuff going on here uh, in favor of that breakout. Definitely one to watch. Beautiful chart, I like it. Borak Silver X A G U S D. This is uh, looking back back roughly two months or so again. Silver today, mega candle, two percent. Uh, again, this. Support zone here at roughly $31, a tap below. Held, you can see the wicks there, uh, and then we blasted today. Still within like an overall range, but this to me seems like we are about to, to follow gold into, into the highs there for silver. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, Trendspider NVIDIA setting up again. Are we really in for a moment where NVIDIA is about to pop again? I mean, how many times can do can it do it? It's just uh, incredible. It has so many earnings gaps. It's I think it has three looking back uh, the past six, nine months or so. Maybe we see that again. If that happens, you know, everything again will follow. Nvidia is by far I think it's three point five trillion or so mega, mega mega company. So if it goes, everything else usually tend to follow, right? Simon here confirmed gold uh, now in a new weekly cycle. I like the sounds of that. I know Simon is really good at these cycle counts, uh, so that's really good for me personally to hear. Having broken out to a new all time high, that is today. On top of that extraordinary bullish chart, we are on week three of this new weekly cycle. And uh, you can see here today, new all time high on the weekly, again, daily all time high. A close all the moving averages is moving up here we have we are hitting the Bollinger Band pretty soon but again overall this is a really really good chart for gold it looks incredible and uh, yeah this inverted head and shoulders target at roughly 2650 is now within 10 percent think about that 10 percent away only finding value finance my good man Andy uh, all your bases are about to have a uh, uh, about to have already broken out. This is uh, uh, XAU divided by gold. You can see here that we are potentially about to break out here. Um, again, this goes back 20 years. So this is just a beautiful, beautiful chart. Really early still, still, you know, in this 10 year basing pattern, you can say, but this is the first step to break that trend line down there. So. Axel, IWC, that's the uh, the microcap ETF, clearly just absolutely the past, what is that, 10, no, five, five, six trading days, up roughly, in, roughly 20%, just absolutely crushing it, and uh, and yeah, the melt up, I don't know, has it, has it begun, maybe, <laughs> it's just incredible, you all of a sudden crypto looked really bad, then Bitcoin bounced, and then all the there were a lot of bearish patterns that were broken to the downside, and they seem to be have been negated already. So amazing. Axel again here, XLB breakout, pullback and continuation. This is the metals selected sector, uh, XLB. Huge basing pattern there for I don't know two years or so, breaking out, bull flagging into retest, breaking out. Really good for overall metals, uh, the sector there. Beautiful. Uh, we have the all-time high there. I assume at roughly, at roughly 92. Maybe, no, maybe it's, it might not be the all-time high, but at least the all-time high for the past six years. So incredible. Finding value finance again. The gold to M2 money supply. 
is gold to total and gold to total bank credit. I would have preferred this to be on a log scale, but hey, each, one, uh, each to its own here. Gold, you can see, is breaking out here. It actually broke out, uh, which I also pointed out, you know, roughly two, three months ago, breaking out, and it, it, it is not going to stop. Gold is the better play than, you know, money supply, bonds, all that. Gold is beautiful. And this is the gold to total bank credit. Again, working on a huge, there's a huge trend line up here, and you can also see a small horizontal trend line right at where we are about to break that, and that should launch gold to also outperform total bank credit. And by the way, the total bank credit is going up heavily. Gold is about to outperform that. Beautiful. Last but not least, again, Andy here, silver looking great. Oh, yes, it does. Long, long, long term time frame here again the major cup and handle broke right there at 26 we haven't moved back sick back since silver is on it on its way to 50 in my opinion yes there will be steep pullbacks because it's silver um but again in my opinion it is inevitable that we are not going to tag 50 have a huge pullback and then break on the fourth and then the cup and handle measured move is in play yeah, I'm a big silver bull that uh, right now after we broke 26 again. Uh, so yeah, beautiful. That is all. Again, follow these guys on Twitter. They post tons of good stuff that I, you know, have learned a lot, learned a lot from and is, you know, increasing my knowledge to uh, each sector and, and, and what have you. Have, a, have a, an amazing day, guys. As always, stay safe. Cheers.